to decide on the picks these days. I have three picks that are... Oh, well, do I have three? Yeah, I have, I have like two and a half because one of them... I don't know how to explain it, but like, the picks become less good. And... Yeah. yeah, I don't know.
Pink Pops. <laughs> I think that's supposed to be me. The Aretha Dots. She has dots into my guitar. Yes. That's really creepy. <laughs>
Am I right in remembering that the previous summer that we just went through um, was fairly mild? Yeah. Like it, it didn't really get that hot? Yeah. Is that correct? Yes. And someone, one of my friends suggested uh, that uh, this winter will be mild and it won't get too cold. Which would be nice. But I would actually, I'm not going to go to the gym and like go into the sauna or anything, but I, <laughs> I would actually appreciate like a nice hot day. No, I understand. I just have it too. Like usually you're like, oh fuck, it's too hot, but like the fact that I didn't experience that for a while, like it's like. Yeah. I don't know if I've ever been to Caravana. I think I probably have. Like, I don't know when I was, but I'm pretty sure that I at least, like, unintentionally walked through it. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Um, but, yeah, that's, that's, like, among other things, that's supposed to celebrate how hot it is outside, right? No. No. Not really. Well, it's like, they, they hold it um, on like one of the hottest days of the summer, don't they? Yeah, but I don't know if that's intentional. I thought I just did eat. Didn't I just eat? I don't know. I, well, I had that cake at some point. And I don't remember if that was before or after I fell asleep. This is extremely important, but I'm going to, um, I, I'm going to play through this game first, and then I'm going to concentrate on getting gold medals and everything. But maybe today, after I finish practicing, I could view an exchange. Maybe. Study? No, that I play through and then concentrate on getting the gold medals. Oh, okay. It's okay. Just tell me it's okay. <laughs> you do not need my permission to play. <laughs> so also, I'm still stressed out, so I'm allowed to take it easy. I, I took an anxiety pill before I started this. And it was one of those times when it's like, I'm not that anxious, but I'm pretty sure, you know, like I have the thing where I try to push it back as much as possible. Yeah. I said to myself, like, Ben, like, don't worry about the fact that, like, you're trying to take as little as possible, just 
you know, I have the four hour system. Yeah. Just stick to the four hour system and um, like don't stress out if, you know, you don't particularly feel like you need it. It may like work as a prophylactic. Yeah. Hope it does. And I, I told this, I told this to my parents, I don't know if I said this to you yet. I mentioned just in passing, like I, w I was trying to get through a sentence and part of the sentence was mentioning this. So I mentioned that I had loaned to you Peter Bregan's book. Yeah. And my psychiatrist like exploded into like, I don't think you should get off the pills. <laughs> so. Well, hey, at least you know what you meant. No, okay. no, no, but I mean, like, um, you know, in, I think it's pretty widely accepted that long-term clono use, like, even among psychiatrists, they, they don't... Oh, totally. Yeah, but... I think she but, meant more not right now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, I don't have to worry about, like, if I can trust my psychiatrist and not be paranoid that I'm being exploited or whatever. You're not being exploited. No, yeah, I know, but you know I have those thoughts, right? Yes. So if I can, like, put those thoughts aside and just allow myself to say my psychiatrist cares about me, and, or, well, I don't know. My, my psychiatrist doesn't wish any specific harm on me. <laughs> yes. Uh, He's a well wisher. <laughs> uh, <laughs> that uh, her diagnosis is it's okay to be on the anxiety meds. Yeah. Although, you know, she could have been reacting. Like, theoretically, I could have been thinking about going off the lithium. And probably, in, I think in most people's minds, it's more important the lithium is more important that I stay on. Yeah. Like, um, I talked to a nurse. I talked to a nurse and I said, you know, I want to, I've quit drinking, I want to come back on my caffeine, I want to quit smoking. And uh, I said, Hopefully one day I will be able to, like if I quit all these things, maybe I won't need these psych pills. And he said, uh, no, actually, you'll probably need psych, like some form of medication for the rest of your life. Well, yeah. And, and you, you know, that like, that, that's partially an opinion, but it's also like something I kind of already knew. Yeah. So. That said, that doesn't mean like that doesn't mean I couldn't like make reductions or as technology advances, there'll be better pills that will be I don't know that that I'll interact with better. Yeah. I think uh, you know I. I think you'll just that will be just better. I'm I'm fairly cognizant as it is, and when I'm not when I'm not actively paranoid or crazy or whatever, like. I'm a fairly normal person, yeah. but there could be improvements, and uh, yeah, you, you know what I'm saying.
I don't know how I got there. Okay. Where are we? Let's start from the bottom. Yeah, so we talked a little bit about this yesterday, but you know how the thing with like when you're reading a sentence, if you jumble up the letters, as long as they like more or less make sense, you can understand what's being written. Yeah. So I was just going over the root notes now, and I came to the ninth fret, and I have to translate what's written on the computer screen through, like, MS Paint into what I play on the keyboard, uh, uh, the fretboard. And I know this is three, five, seven, nine, but, like, the eighth fret, at least in the things that I practice a lot, is used a lot. And I was thinking the ninth fret was the eighth fret, just because the eighth fret is so common. Mm -hmm. um, and so I was trying to get a root note, and I kept playing on the tenth fret, because I thought the ninth fret was the eighth fret. Okay. So even though, like, if you see my chart, I put a red number next to each of the progressions of the frets. Mm -hmm. Um, so even though that red number was there, like specifically telling me this is the ninth fret, um, the part of your brain that speeds up reading to the point where you can make it unintelligible uh, and still be able to be read, uh, yes. that part of your brain, or my brain, made me completely ignore the red nine. Okay. So, and I don't know if I'm following you, but that's just because I'm doing... Yeah. Sorry. <laughs> <coughs> but it's okay. And I don't think... I keep saying things, especially when you're not around. Like, I just... I talk to the camera during guitar practice, and I don't know if... Like, I, I don't know when to stop talking because I don't know at what point I've actually made my point, and I don't, okay. I don't know if I, at, what, at, what, at what point I've just been saying stupid things and no one has stopped me because I, like the camera's not going to stop me. Yes. <laughs> Although it does shut off sometimes. <laughs> Thank you. 
Does that sound good? Mm -hmm. Is our game we ask on severe spot black now No, it's awesome. <laughs> I've told you the thing about how um, someone told me uh, in some culture uh, it's actually polite to like eat as quickly as possible. Really? <laughs> because it indicates to the chef that the chef has done a good job. Yes. Um, so if I'm like watching these Star Trek DVDs as quickly as possible shows that the Star Trek is doing a good job. It, it shows that I very much like your Christmas present. Yes.
I openly admit that that's the hardest part of my practice, and then I don't spend that much time on that. Okay. <laughs> Uh, 